setting up and using document templates. TrackOps offers the ability to automatically produce reports, letters, and other standard forms through the use of document templates. Document templates can easily be created using OpenOffice. Prior to this video, I have created a basic document using OpenOffice. This will be my report that I will generate for my workers' compensation cases in TrackOps. The next step is to insert fields within this document that will allow me to pull data from TrackOps into this report. To do this, I click on Insert, Fields, and then Other. Once I am in the Fields submenu, I make sure I select Functions. I place my cursor where I want the field to appear on my document, and then I select Input Field and Insert. Now I need to place my variables in these fields. Variables will populate these fields with the information I want to appear on the report. To find the variables, let's go to our dashboard, click on Settings, and then Document Templates. I haven't made a document template yet, so I select New Document Template. I take a moment to name my document template, and then select View Template Variables. Looking at the variables, on the left side I see the category in the brackets and its field label. On the right, in the curly brackets, I see the corresponding variables. This is what we're looking for. I find that I need the client's name for my report, and I either copy and paste the variable, or I type exactly the variable on the right. Variables require the double curly brackets, exact punctuation, and are case sensitive. I place my cursor where I need it again, check the list for the contact name this time, and continue as needed. As I continue to fill in this information, I notice I'm looking for the information for the claim number and the insured. I remember that I created these labels when I was setting up my workers' compensation case type. In the reference label section, I created both claim number and insured. I need to gather the values within those fields in track ops. So I reference the template variable chart again, find the variables, and place them on my report. Now that I am starting to get the hang of looking at the variables and placing them on the report, I move forward with filling out the information about my subject. Again, I remember the custom field that I created for county when I created a new subject type. I finished inserting the last of my fields and I save my work. Let's finish our new document template. I want to upload the document I just created as the template file. I click choose file, find the investigative report document, and I add it to the document template. Be sure to check a box to make this template available to your case type. In this situation, I need this report for my workers' compensation cases. Save and continue. Now I want to go to the workers' compensation case I have been working on. To create a new document, I click New, New Document, and select the report I have created and uploaded. I can now generate the report, which downloads as an open office document. I check to make sure all of the information is correct, and now I can export this report as a PDF to upload into a case update or as a case file. Congratulations, you can now create a document template using TrackOps. Thank you for using TrackOps.